Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Terror. Hope everybody's well. Virgo, we're going to throw them down for you real quick for November round two. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. If not, check your moon rising or Venus placement reading. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. The Hermit came up for you in the reverse. What's up with that? Some of you like seriously self-isolating. Gosh, I hope not. Oh, we'll see if it comes back out in the spread somewhere. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you at all, it may not be your reading, so just leave the cards on the table and walk away. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, so the events of this might be playing out at some other point later on if they haven't played out already, or if they're not pl currently playing out in this present time frame. Okay. Energy being fluid, all things can and maybe vice versa. This really isn't a cross watchers read, but hey, if cross watcher wants to hang out. I'm cool with that. This goes more into Virgo's strengths, weaknesses, how they can use them in a situation to achieve a desired outcome based on what they need to um, get rid of out of their life, what's coming in, you know, what they want, what's got to happen, you know, all that happy jazz. Okay, so one quick thing we got to go over before I throw these down. Never make a life-altering decision based on the tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. Okay, we're going to invoke, throw them down, and get her done for Virgo. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you, and I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Virgo to the highest possible spiritual. We're going to put them on their highest possible spiritual path. What's going on, Virgo? Seven of Wands in the reverse. Mm. Feeling defeated about something. What's your strength? Sun shining. You're happy. Okay. What's your weakness? Nine of Wands. You are guarded as fuck. We're going to throw some clarifiers on that. What do you want? Two of Cups in the reverse. What's got to go? Four of Pentacles. Mm, that's pretty general. What's coming in? King of Cups reversed. What do you got to do? Justice reversed. The oak comes the chariot forward movement, the world at the bottom of the deck, old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Let's get some clarity, shall we? Clarity for Virgo, please, universe source spirit guides. Clarity for Virgo, please. Eight of Pentacles decided it wanted to pop out. Hmm. Okay. You could have put a lot of work or energy into this situation. Maybe that's why you're holding on to it so tight. Hmm. Okay. One on the sun. One on the sun. Ace of Cups reversed. No matter if the cup is empty or full, the sun is shining. I'm leaving it alone. One on the nine of wands. One on the nine of wands. Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. He is looking over at that Knight of Cups like, don't even talk to me. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling like you don't want nothing to do with it. Dang. Okay. Okay. Why is the Two of Cups reversed here for what you want? Page of Pentacles reversed. Oh, snap. Okay.
You're on to growing. You're on to growing. Okay, your strength is no matter what happens. Cup, empty or full, that sun is shining. And you are happy and you are content. Um, even through this defeat, the weakness is your guard is up so heavy right now. You don't want nothing to do with what's in a cup. You want nothing to do with it. What you want, two cups reversed, you're done with connections. I don't, I don't even think you want an apology from somebody. You don't want anything. You just want to put it out of your head. You're on to growing. One on this empress. One on this empress. One on this empress. The world. Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. You're done. You're over it. Okay. What's got to go? Something you've been holding on to. One on this four of pentacles. One on the four of pentacles for Virgo. One on the four of pentacles for Virgo. <sighs> Temperance popped out. Something you've held on to, something that's held you up in the gallows, something you've been extremely patient with. Two of Wands, something. Huh. One of the Two of Wands. Five of Cups, something that's held you up in the gallows, something that's left you at the crossroads, something that's made you sad, something that no matter how much energy you put into it, you've been extremely patient. You need to let go of this and stop laying in the defeat. I think you try like hell to be happy with an empty cup, but you don't even want a full one. So I, I'm not feeling like that's happiness. As much as you want a cycle to be over so you can start new, you hanging on to it is only preventing that from happening. I, I just, for the, you know, just thought I'd clear that up. You holding on to it is not allowing that to happen for you. So what's coming in? Not a, King of Cups reversed. Talk to me about this King of Cups reversed. Talk to me about this King of Cups reversed. Five of Swords reversed. Oof. Something you've been closed off to emotionally. Something that left you feeling defeated. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Dang. I had to make sure it wasn't my child. Sorry. <laughs> it was the mail truck, not the school bus. Um, oh, gosh. I should probably unlock the front door. Hold on. Hold that thought. Front door is indeed unlocked. Woo, we shaking. Okay. 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 <sighs> What's coming in? Something you've been emotionally closed off to. Something that left you feeling defeated. Something that knocked your self-worth out. One on this Nine of Pentacles. One on this Nine of Pentacles. Death reversed. Possibly something that you're, like, financially free of. Not necessarily something you're emotionally free of. Because what's coming back is something that never closed. Okay, now why is it coming back? Ten of Pentacles reversed. It's something I left hanging out there. You never got to the Ten of Pentacles. 
Okay. I'm not going to beat that dead horse anymore. What do you got to do? Why is justice reversed here? Why is justice reversed here for what Virgo needs to do? Why is justice reversed here for what Virgo needs to do? <laughs> Three of swords reversed. I don't even know how to say this politely. One more. Seven of Swords reversed. Self honesty. Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so, so this Ten of Cups being at the bottom of the deck, what you need to not do is dwell on how unfair it was. And you need to process the emotions that went along with it. You need to come out of your sadness. You be honest with yourself. One more. Seven of Cups. Play the field. Explore your options. And don't be afraid to do that. I think some of you, your weakness is that you're so damn heavily guarded that you don't want nothing to do with a cup. As much as you think that you're happy with an empty cup, you're not. You're not happy. You're, you're still feeling defeated. I think it's, the sun's going to shine at the end of the day, but it's not shining right now. In fact, can I get one more on that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and... Uh, Tower reversed in the Knight of Swords. Eventually, that tower will be rebuilt. And it may come in when it's, you know, when, it may happen when it's least expected. And I think you know and realize and acknowledge that that's why you're not worried about the cup right now. My issue with this is you're afraid of a cup. You don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, the outcome is forward movement. So let's talk about this outcome for a second. Give me one on the chariot, please. One on the chariot. Forward movement, distance, travel. Ten of cups. Okay. Nice. Two of swords. Finally making that decision with clarity to move forward toward your happiness. You might travel. You might move away from the situation. Some of you, I mean, do whatever suits you best. One more. Dropping cards. Good God. Six of wands. Yeah. Eventually, you'll get victory in the situation. You'll move on from it. But fool at the bottom of the deck, you have to stop being afraid of the damn cups and learn to trust your judgment again. Okay. And in order to do that, you finally need to let go and allow balance to be restored, come out of your state of sadness and allow a cycle to end. You've not allowed to end. Can I get an oracle on this, please? Waiting for that school bus. Okay. I need an oracle on this, please. Oracle for Virgo. Oracle for Virgo. Oracle for Virgo. To be fair. Okay, number 38. 3 plus 8 is 11. This reading is being read on 11-11. I'm not sure when you're going to see it. But... <laughs> One plus one is two. Two is the number of decisions and crossroads. Number 38, where are we at here?
There it is. Okay. To be fair, life offers experiences that are often challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis, to doing. From discovering, to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this time, sorry, at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Okay. All right. So, Virgo, this has been your message for the month of November, round two. Have one hell of a rest of your November, and I'll catch you guys in your next week. Read. Or whatever. Love ya. Take care.